Drop it. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how we display text using our programming in assembly language. So let's start. Let's have our title here. Program to display text. Okay? So before we can continue, let's save the file first. Here we have our um, folder that's a exhjt1.assembly. Okay, there. So we have saved the file already. Let's continue with our code. Let's have here our model, small. Then we're going to have our stack here. Now, last time we started with this format. Okay, this is where we will be writing our code. But this time, since we're going to display a string or something, let's define it. Okay, if we're going to define variables, we put it here in our data. Now, to declare a string, we need to type first the file name or the name of the variable. Let's say we have your string one, and then we're going to set up the type, let's say define by, and then the text that we're going to have. So let's say I love, okay? And we're going to, you can add additional text here. So I'm adding here 40H and we need to end it with a dollar sign. So what's this? If I go back to our ASCII character and scroll down here, the first thing is we're going to look for 40H. So this is 40H. So we're going to display the at symbol in our code and also we will be using the line feed here which is the ascii value of 10 we're going to use the ascii value of 10 and the carriage return which we're going to use the ascii value of 13 okay now let's have another string string 2 db then let's display assembly language okay then like i mentioned earlier we're going to use here the uh <clears throat> we're going to use here the carriage return so we could add here 10 13 then include here the at symbol we're going to type here 40h and then end it with the dollar sign so we have our text already. Let's write our code. First thing that you have to consider when displaying text is that how do we retrieve it? So if you recall last time, we have the symbol at that allows us to this time sort of a pointer that points to our data. Okay. Now let's have here move ax at data. So it's somehow looking at this uh, string one and string two here, so that we'll know where to where to retrieve our data. Then we have move ds ax for our data segment. So we're going to have this. We're going to use this one. Next is we're going to use another command which is layer. Uh, this is load effective address so that we'll know exactly where to retrieve the data okay so we have here leia stands for load effective address now next is move ah9 we're in nine here is write string to standard output now then interrupt 21h leia dx then we're going to have here string 2 then move ah9 and then interrupt 21h 
Don't forget to terminate our program, move AH for CH, interrupt 21H, then interrupt 20H. Okay, so we have this one already. Next is we save the file. Okay, save the file already. Go to file save, or you just use your shortcut key. Let's now open our DOS box. So I have those DOS box here. Then I need to mount it to my drive. So I'm going to use your mount C and then TASA. If you're you in Windows, type your C, the drive, and then the folder where you have saved the file. Okay. So in my case, I'm going to use this code here. Then mount it to drive C. Then let's look for the file. So I save here ex hdt1.assembly so directory exhd1.assembly so you have the file already next is let's uh, compile this one so type here tasam exhdt1.assembly there then we show the file now it generated as an object file let's link it now so we type here tlink space exhdt1.obj then let's look at the file it created as two more files which is an executable file and the map file now let's display the output the type here exhdt1 then press enter so we have here now the text that we created earlier uh, we have i love this is i love at this is 40h then since we have here 10 and 13, it moves to the next line. So assembly language at. Okay? So this is our program to display text on the screen. Thank you for watching. Bye.